Josh Berman. Big night for you. Big night indeed, man. This is uh, pretty special. How you feeling? Um, walking on the moon, dude. This is, uh, this is, it would be too cliche, I guess, to say it's a dream come true, but actually it is a dream come true because I grew up really watching all, all the other producers and directors that have been killing it for the past 15 years. And, you know, I started making ski films as, as sort of like a fun thing to keep me busy, being inspired by them, and then to actually, like, be part of all this, and then... To, to win something in, in this capacity is just kind of mind-blowing. Congrats, man. You. you made the best ski movie of the year. There you are. Um, earlier we were, talking about, we were talking about Sunny and how you really bring out the personalities of your athletes. For sure. You keep it light and kind of accessible. Um, what's, your, what's your strategy there? Why do you why do, you do that? Well, you know, uh, th this past movie in particular, we really made an effort, a distinct effort, to sort of push the, the lighter side of everything and, and our athletes' personalities, which are, for the most part, pretty entertaining and engaging, um, in part inspired by the movie we made the year before, After Dark. And Sonny was actually the, the sequel or the follow-up to After Dark, if you want to call it that. And uh, so that was our effort, to keep it super lighthearted, to keep it, to keep it real, for, for lack of a better way to say it. I mean, we rolled cameras on everything as much as we possibly could and had you know, probably 30 or 40 percent more content to go through than we've ever had in the past, specifically because we were looking for, for those moments that were actually, you know, kind of candid, kind of real, kind of like portraying what was going on and, and who was involved and, and the way things actually are out there. Because more often than not, even, even when things are not going so well, it, it's, it's still a, a cool experience and, and something that we want to be able to share with our audience. And that was the goal, and that's kind of what we did. Awesome. I know uh, some of the other production companies have bigger budgets, but you managed to achieve, you know, much more with much less. How do you do that? A lot of extra hard work, a uh, lot of creativity, and, and I think, uh, you know, last year's movie was, was sort of a prime example of um, a situation where we, we, we strove to not be epic. I mean, it costs a lot of money to be epic and produce this amazing grandiose imagery and action and and yeah our skiers hold it down you know with anybody else out there for sure but not having the budget and the ability to to do what some of the other people out there do we didn't want to even try to compete with it so you know last year's film was sort of an exercise in an un epicness and we wanted to create something that people could could kind of you know relate to and glom onto and, and appreciate even if they weren't you know participating in that level of, of skiing and that level of action something that they could actually relate to and they could pick something up you know from, from the humor and, and anecdotes that actually you know go go down as part of the process well it's a really relatable film really accessible really fun congratulations Thanks. best movie of the year cheers awesome. cheers, cheers. cheers.